Hey everyone, Pat here again from TCast, uh, TCast.net. I wanted to <clears throat> continue the uh, learning about T section on my website for um, people just getting into T. And I wanted to talk about oolong tea in this episode. Now, I know I didn't do green tea yet, but uh, oolong tea is kind of an in-betweener between green tea and black tea. And it has a little, a little bit of elements of each. Now, this is the second most oxidized tea, meaning that is a, it's a step. Well, I guess if green tea's up and black tea's down, it's a step up from black tea. So it's not quite as bitter. Well, it's not really bitter, but it's not quite as strong of, of an earthy kind of, you know, dark taste. But it does have darkness associated with it. And I want to say that green tea is kind of lighter and vegetal, and it kind of tastes like grass. It's a grassy flavor, whereas, uh, you know, black teas are more earthy. So oolong is kind of a hybrid between the two, and it's the most popular tea, I believe, in any, like, in, in shops in China. You know, they drink mostly oolong, oolong tea. Jap Japan drinks more green tea than anything, I believe. But as... <clears throat> So yeah, uh, it is a mix of green and black tea, and it's not as oxidized as much. And it does have, um, like I said, it does have an earthy flavor to it, but it has vegetal flavors to it as well. And personally, it's my favorite tea. And there's a lot of, there, there's different flavors for it as well, but there's not as many as black tea. Black tea is the has the variety of flavors, but oolong tea, it has a lot of different like kinds associated with it. But it doesn't have like strawberry or, you know, I've never seen a strawberry oolong tea. I'm sure there probably is somewhere. But for the majority of them, they're uh, more subtle kind of teas than, than any other kind, I would say. Maybe, other, maybe white tea being the most subtle and oolong tea being, you know, the second most because it's kind of an in-betweener. So, you know, it's, it's uh, made the same way as black tea except, you know, a different, a little bit of a different method. So that's it for Oolong Tea. That's a little intro. If you have any questions, anything you want to add, uh, let me know, tcastfans at gmail.com or, you know, add me on Twitter or something. So, or comment below. So that's it for uh, Oolong Tea. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, like, like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot.